Yeah, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Shalom, shalom, everybody. It's your boy, Terrence, TJ the man. Terrence the man, 6060 of YouTube. Holla at your boy, man. Um, I know I, I ain't like I ain't like Umar Johnson or some of these cats. You know what I'm saying? Hit the cash app and this and that. I might put that out there, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want y'all boy for money. But, hey, if I give y'all gospel and give y'all biblical truth and spread the message, I may have to do so. I may have to do so. But good morning to y'all. Shalom, shalom. Peace and blessings to y'all. We got a lot to talk about today. Happy Sabbath Eve. Yep, it's Friday, a week before. The pagan Thanksgiving. I know a lot of people buying their turkeys and stuff now. The grocery store pack out right here in Food Line. Right here in Charleston, South Carolina. I see a lot of people shopping already. Get ready for Thanksgiving. A pagan holiday. A white man's holiday. Celebrate the tradition of men. Thanksgiving Day. Back in the day. Christopher Columbus and his boys and his crew. Tortured and terrorized the African and indigenous people that were here in America on America soil. It was Indians and Native American Indians. African American and indigenous people. Um, yes, that's right. It was black people right here in this country. And, um, and, and I talk about Christopher Columbus discovered America. Was, Christopher Columbus ain't discovered a goddamn thing. Christopher Columbus came and stole this land, tortured, killing people, and, and, um, uh, and, and celebrate Thanksgiving because they're thankful for the land they received after the stolen and torture the African American indigenous people and Native Americans. They cut their head off, they slaughtered them, crucified them, tortured them, chopped their head off. And put the head on a charger, which is a platter, on a silver platter, as a turkey that was turkey cover up, and the head was feast as a turkey. And they say happy Thanksgiving. So why are we celebrating? Why people of the, of the twelve tribes of the twelve tribes of Israel, the Jacob seed, the God of Israel? Why, especially the tribe of Judah? Why are we celebrating the tradition of men? Why are we all being part of these pagan holidays? Which is something that we shouldn't be part of. We got to do better, and we can't never see everybody because we flock with the with the stores with the with the Edomites and the Caucasian the white people and you know, all the different nationalities shopping with them. We not supposed to a, a fornicate. We not supposed to be celebrating. We not supposed to be partying. We're not supposed to be having making kids or married to any other nationalities, any other nations. A lot of y'all two dirt negroes are gonna get cast down like a fire. A lot of people get destroyed, perish for lack of knowledge. It's just a matter of time. So as you as you live in the sea another day, if, if God give you living life to see, and he got you here today, let's go step aside. It's getting hot in this car. If he allow you to see another day, you need to give God time now. Pray, fast, repent, and give him your life today. Because it's just a matter of time. It is just a matter of time. So um, excuse me for a moment. Let's go step aside. Is a fresh here. But yeah, man, we gotta do better, man. We gotta stop being celebrating these holidays with the heathens and shit. Like we, like we them, but we, we are not like them. We are black people, part of the tribe of Judah. We are, we are, we are, we are better than that. And we go ahead and celebrate these pagan holiday Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. So. Thinking everything, all right. But let me tell you something right now. Racism ain't never die. Racism ain't never going nowhere. So why we do it? Because we don't know our knowledge. We don't want to seek knowledge, and we don't want to do better. You know, it's just it's terrible. Like I said, all you doing is hurting yourself. Seek knowledge today. Pray, repent, fast, and humble yourself, and give God your life today. Give God time. It's just a matter of time if we're gonna to continue to celebrate the holidays. And look, 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 look at this one here. Look, look at this. My God, you probably ain't got no damn drawers and walking on here like that to the damn hair store. Lord have mercy. Ain't got a slippy cap on. Probably ain't wash you behind. Why ain't wash your ass? See, I, I just disgraced the black community. That's just disgraced the black community. Ain't a man want a woman like that. And let's say you know a little good man who sell drugs in the street who just wants something to hit and run. They don't care if you wash, they don't care if you, what they do. But I ain't want nothing like that. 
Men like us, we want a cocky bond. We want a wifey type of woman. We want a woman that good and clean, that care about themselves, that got a future, that got goals to take care of. We ain't want nobody who slack and walk around like a hoochie mama, think you want to be Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, all these celebrities out here who ain't doing no damn good. Everybody want to be a star. Everybody want to be something big. But anybody ain't trying to save any money or trying to invest in nothing. Buying all these white people shit. Buying all that fake hair, colorful hair. Buying all this nonsense. So we, we got to do better. Black people, we got to do better. We got to start building. Because it's just a matter of time that this government shutdown is going to take place. The artificial intelligence robots will come along. And we are the Hebrew real life. We are the, we are the tribe of Judah. Black people, we are his children. We are the Jews. It's time for us to start to get together and start making something happen. Build something. Save some money. Make some crops. Because a lot of fruits and vegetables, we get it for Walmart and these grocery stores. They ain't real. They ain't real fruits. They ain't real vegetables. They don't process these things. They don't put so much chemicals in these stuff now. So a lot of things we eat ain't safe. Everything processed. We must give God time. Stay humble yourself. Read the Bible. Say your prayers. And um, stay out of trouble because misery loves company. And I know these demonic spirits are going to be hitting people hard as we can. And going until it's Christmas and the end of the year. Because these, these holidays get to their head. And Christmas tree and ham and food and all these things. Different things like that. And nature. All they're going to do is destroy their pocket. Ain't going to benefit them. And we all got to judge me, did it? We all got to answer the call. When the time for us to go home when the Most High God the Messiah calls us home. It's a matter of time. The Most High going to send his son, Messiah, back here to make judgment. And he's doing it right now in Israel. Those people in Israel, not our, they're not our still Jewish synagogues of Satan. And all these people right now who worry about themselves and worry about buying this, buying that material thing for holiday, homosexuality, being gay, being effeminate men, effeminate women. Think it's cool. It's not good. It's not good to be gay. So get yourself together. Because um, it ain't going to be pretty when, when the end of the day comes. Seek the most high, pray, meditate on this word, study and read the Bible, be self-approved. But the churches didn't teach you nothing. Most of the churches all lead you straight. They are part of these pagan rituals, pagan holidays. And they ain't doing y'all no good. So try to get yourself together, man. Sometimes you gotta step away from social media, Facebook, and Instagram for a while. Just to find yourself. You know, get to know yourself. Pray, be quiet, meditate on God's word. And listen to his voice. You know? Sometimes you gotta do that step away because sometimes social media can break you down, can make you depressed and stressed. Especially brothers who try and be on semi retention and they you know you going back on lustful desires because of Instagram and Twitter and all these things got soft porn. Every time you look at it, everything going in, it got you know somebody shaking their ass and showing nude and twerking and shit like that's the style. Like that's the only thing you woman better to do. That's all y'all can do. Shake your ass and go on OnlyFans and want people to subscribe and pay for your account. There's more than life to just do that. Clean yourself up. Wear your hair naturally. Um, get yourself together. Come on, have a plan. Come on, goals. A lot of people telling me to go to college and this and that. College is good. But you know what my college degree is? My college degree is to make sure I enter the kingdom of heaven. Enter the gates and, and have my master say that y'all well done. That's my goal. I don't care about college. The college degree, all I do is, is, is all I do is doing to get you in the government system, to get you brainwashed, and get you destroyed, and to get you more carnal and more in the system, and get you more in these pagan holidays and all these worldly things. Get me back in the matrix. Get me fall apart from, from the most important thing in the biblical scriptures. And I had this lady at my job trying to tell me I need to go to college, I need to go to school and get my degree. Nah. Nah, I mean, I understand. I do want my education, but at the same time, it's like, I got I, I, it ain't nothing free. You know, some of these jobs, they, they willing to pay for your tuition, willing to pay for your plans. But at the same time, it's like, you got to have money in your pocket. You got to have a plan to save an investment. There's, there's a lot of things. I got, I'm still young. I still got time, you know. But I do want to go to college. But right now, I just worry about getting myself right with the most high God. Because I know a day, an hour, any day of time. Can crack that sky right now and shut it down. So I call it the green gonna mean a damn thing when it comes to most high God. The only thing most high God worrying about is you supplying and following your statutes and all his commandments. He ain't working no education. He ain't working no education. 
That's just me. If you want to go to school, go to college, that's you. But for me, I mean, I got my education, I got my high school diploma and stuff like that. A college degree will come. But right now, I ain't worried about that. I worry about reading the Bible, meditating on His Word, and trying to follow this law, statute commandments. I'm single for a reason. I be sometimes I have to fight the fight the lustful feeling. Not to go after nobody. But sometimes God will me be alone for a reason. Because he's working on me. A bigger blessing is coming. 2024 is going to be my year. This whole year, 2023, has been a year that I had to feel the side that God had wanted me to be a feeling. And I've been doing his, his assignment this year. I've been going through a lot of trials and tribulation um, from the end of 2021 till now. So I rededicated my life to him last year, March 2022. And it's been it's been over a year now since I rededicated, right? But it'll be two years of March coming up again. And I've been through a lot of changes. So I know there's more blessings will come. I was gonna be humble, keep doing God's will. I got a lot of things I wanna have before I turn 35. And it will come. And it will come. I know I tell him my age I am 30 years young. And I'm a young man. And I got an old soul, but that's good. This old soul is a good thing. But I hope you're having a good day. If you're homosexual, try to fight the homosexual feeling, especially you men. You do better than that. Homosexuality is not the way. Being gay, transgender, definitely is about abomination of the most high God. You're getting your sex change. So, a lot of y'all want to inherit the kingdom of God. So, a lot of y'all think homosexual is cool. Being gay is cool. LBG community is cool. No, it's not cool at all. So, I want you to get that out your head. Because that's not cool and it's not right. It's not acceptable to the most high God. So, people say, who I am I to judge? God says that if you if you save, you can be marked as a perfect, be the perfect man. So I got a right to judge. Righteously. I know them by the fruits. Okay? So, get yourself together. Seek the most high God. Go outside. Get you some nice, beautiful sun. You know, we got that nice, beautiful black chocolate caramel melanated skin baby let it go let it shine and so i praise to the most high god for a lot of seeing that day i'll let your boy